Yeah, I, I, th I think the cube is always the mythical one that people bring up because it is obviously one where people, the minute people start asking, saying, well, what do we want to do? Um, I, I spoke to one company in, in Switzerland the other day and they said, um, we, we want to create a cube, so we're going to bring all the data back into one big cube. They said, um, and I said, well, why, why are you doing that? They said, well, we don't know what questions the business might ask. <laughs> and I thought, that's going to be a successful project for sure. Um, the, the, the key is, if you think about I think the model to think about is much more one exactly like you navigate the web right now. So, so you go to a browser. It just happens to be your tool, and, and you see some information, and there's lots of links that you can click to that you can find other information, and you can find that, and you can move on in a very organized fashion, or disorganized if you happen to be that kind of browser. Um, but, but in that sense, to me, that model, it, it always existed. People always want to try and bring the data back into one big, big database, but in, in general, you have the reservoir simulation tools, you've got the SAP, you've got the hydrocarbon accounting system. What, what we need to have is a way in which you can, for example, ask sensible questions like, where did this data come from? What's the source information? Let me look at that source information. Let me look at those results. Let me see what the resulting invoices were that went out in that. And actually, let me have a quick look at what it costs to drill that well and compare those two. All of that is entirely possible without, without worrying about moving data from one place to another with standard web service technologies. And, and it's interesting what Arthur said about the whole thing of, um, of private versus public cloud. The same thing happened a few years back with, with uh, web services, where you have a really powerful, useful technology, um, and, uh, but all IBM and Oracle and Microsoft all want to sell you products. So all of a sudden, they adopt that, and you get private cloud and public cloud and all this kind of thing. And it's all a marketing thing. So web services, you know, and I don't bash Microsoft anymore because I hate to hit a guy when he's down, <laughs> but, but the, the web services debacle was largely their result. They created about 27 standards that nobody wanted, nobody implemented, and were largely there so you would buy the Oracle process integrator, whatever it is. The truth is, what web services will deliver you exactly what you want maybe 90% of it, maybe not 100%, but at a fraction of the cost of, of any data warehouse that I've ever seen. And they'll do it in a way that is, is open and allows you to use general purpose tools. And, and that's really the, the criteria. If you, can, if you have a tool that will allow you to consume data from SAP or Microsoft or, or an HCA system or whatever in a standardized way, bring it together and do the kind of reporting you want, all that's possible <coughs> right now. And we're seeing real progress on that right now, real standardization in the industry. Yeah, I mean, that very much goes back to one of the points we were talking about earlier, where um, the tool set is designed for business users. So you get a tool set which is not for technologists that couples to the data that's stored somewhere safely and securely. And, you know, I, I can't imagine what they're going to do, but, uh, but they're going to do things that will work well for them. And I think that's it. increasing standardization is, is definitely going to drive it that way. And actually, in a way, I think that, that putting the, the data into the cloud probably liberates you more than putting it in your own infrastructure, because it gives you, you know, genuine controlled access from anywhere with anything. And I think, I think that will really, uh, that, that's going to happen. I, I, don't, I don't think that's something that, that the business will want to be without.